out. All right, so I'm already recording. Folks here in the library are going to be joining on Zoom as well. Um, they're just going to shut their sound off so that we don't hear me everywhere. And those that are located everywhere else will then will be similar to yesterday, except for I'm more nervous and my attention might be divided a little bit more. All the recordings from yesterday are up. They're linked uh, matrix if you want to check them out. Um, they're all on YouTube. The terrible. I don't mind if you share them. I didn't put them as public, so they're not searchable, but um, you can share them if you want to. And in a minute, I'll have to start talking louder so that people... Hey, I'm in the middle of the meeting. Just make, let me know I blew up the uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, I'm also going to start sharing my screen. Hello. Ding dong. Ding dong. You get to hear just how often it rings. That's no <laughs> I was saying it's so annoying. <sighs> Would be really good for like sales or something. So I'm going to share my screen, Google Chrome, and share. And now I'm going to open up my participant list again because that closes. I'm you slide it out of my way. I'm going to hit present. I'm going to, woo, how did I do that? How did I do that? Oh my goodness. Let's hit escape and try again. I'm trying to talk about so at least you guys have an idea of what it is that I'm going through. Um, where am I? Back here. Let me admit more. There's more of you coming in. Scary sound, admit all, admit all. You're still coming in, let's try again. I'm gonna try and share my screen. Share my screen, Google Chrome. Where bells ring in? Um, I wanna go here, I wanna do present. Now that it's presenting, my, my screen changes for Zoom, so I have to open my participants, let those new people in. And I have to find my more chat. Admit people. And so far, I have three people in the library. I'll turn my computer around in a minute just so you guys, computer, have an idea of what I'm seeing or what I'm trying to do. I'm on already. Uh, Michelle over here. <laughs> Whew. Is it hot in here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know too. I'm going to give it another minute or two and then I'll get. Did you want to go into it a little bit? I would say let's let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I would say let, if you want to put it up a little bit, let's see what happens. You guys are kind of guinea pigs. Um, the Matrix, I will put it. If you, Are you in the Zoom room yet? Not yet. Get in there and then I'll put it in the chat. Oh, Katie, thanks for introducing yourself. I'll pass it to Stacy. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Lots of doorbell ringing. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? So you can't hear this when you're not. No, no. I don't focus. It's crazy. Wait, I see the schedule, but not the Zoom link. The Zoom link is the same. It should be at the top on the left. Um, oh, I should have put that in there, huh? Click on the email I sent today, Ellie, has a link to the matrix, and then the matrix has a link to the Zoom. Thank you. And if anyone is um, either in the chat or what have you, and you have a link to the matrix, will you pop it in the chat? Am I too close to you? You are not too close to me. Are you okay that my mask is off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I could either wear my mask or wear my glasses. I think you should wear your glasses. Because if I wear my mask, my glasses fall off my face. All right. 
Admit all. Admit, admit, admit. Okay, I'm going to get started. So I have four people in the library. I'll kind of give you a zoom around of what we're looking at. And then we have some others that are, <laughs> that are working on other stuff. So the library is a busy place. KPC does not have great acoustics. We're going to fool around here with the ability for my in-person in people to be able to stay on the Zoom as well. Are you in? You're waiting for it. Is this what a classroom will be? Yeah, it, uh, yeah, I'm trying to simulate what it might be like for you guys, although you're way better behaved than most children of them, but okay. you are. And um, thank you for putting the matrix in the chat. That's awesome. And But I think I'm juggling more of you than you'll be juggling. So I think part of what I'm doing is way easier and part of it maybe isn't, but we'll find out. And like I said earlier, I'll be trying new things every day. I am not a um, clear touch today. I'm just having everyone on their individual devices. Nothing big in front of the classroom. Those of you online can't see me. Those of you in person um, can hear me because I'm in front of you. So we're trying to keep your volume down on your device so we don't get feedback or me in stereo. So I'm going to let a few people in and we're going to get started. All right. So this it's called file management. I really didn't know what to call it, but I knew that a lot of people struggle with moving things around, getting stuff from their phone to their computer, from their email to a Google slide, from the internet to a Google doc, from an email to a whatever. Ellie, yes. From a PDF to a Google doc or vice versa. Yeah, yeah exactly. So the class is called file management, but I don't know if it's the right name or not. We'll figure it out as we go. I'm also going to demonstrate different teaching methods in these courses. So today I'm doing challenge-based PD. I've worked for EdTech teacher for the last 12 years. And if you take classes with them, A, you pay big bucks. B, they make you work really hard. Um, they don't just stand in front of you and have everyone click on the blue button at the same time. So the way that I've learned to teach PD is to kind of make you struggle a little bit. And that's not very nice considering that we're already pretty um, stressed out and feeling like we have to struggle. But what I have done here that I didn't use to do is that I've created um, your challenge that you're going to go through today, but then I've made a series of videos that have the answers to that challenge. So instead of just saying, oh, you'll figure it out someday, just keep trying, um, I do show you how to do it afterwards so you can watch it and figure out where you or celebrate where you already knew how to do things. So I'm using my same pack every day, so that's hopefully becoming more consistent and more predictable for all of you. My doorbell is still ringing, and right now um, I'm already recording. So it's up to you as to whether or not you want your camera on or off. I am not hurt if your camera is off. Um, my crowd is growing larger in the library, and it's um, very scary. Okay, so. Today we're going to be kind of fooling around with moving photos around, moving documents around, putting links into documents, um, getting stuff into Google Drive, just some basic moving things around because I know that that can be a challenge. But, I yeah. made it first. Go through that document that they sent us, like click on the link. Mute all, even though I love you all, I don't want to hear you yet. <laughs> um, even though um, I already lost my train of thought. That's the hard part with the stroke is that I lose it pretty easy. Trying to manipulate files and get them moved from one place to another can be a challenge. Can be a challenge. Admit all. There's still people coming in. The people in the library can hear the doorbell going. All right. So we're going to start off like with a video like yesterday. I love kid snippets. Some of them are appropriate for kids. Some of them are not. So they're a lot of fun to watch. Today's is um, it's good for you. So, those of you in the library, come, you can come up to me if you want to. I think it's already started. Today we are here with the newest and latest products, which is this iPhone computer. And you can pop off this top, which I cannot find the button right now, but um, it's a nice computer. Got buttons right here. And it can hold over a million 
things in the like it has many many profiles and great for kids just don't let it touch fire or nails or microphones or hot stuff name um why did they come up with the name phone it's just like I a phone. phone computer yeah it's like so weird well basically a tablet computer yeah just saying it's kind of stupid I have a little awesomeness inside of it. And I'd rather have like the awesome computer um, or fully retractable. The fold take computer. Or yeah. there's a lot of names you can do it. And out of all the names you picked iPhone computer. It's an awesome computer and it's gonna cut so Hundred and thousand and a million. No, no, fifty dollars. A hundred dollars. Just a hundred dollars. That's too cheap. We want to get rich, right? Yeah. A hundred dollars is a lot. What's not? I can't have a hundred dollars in my wallet right now. So you could just have like a million thousand dollars with a three and a hundred with another two and then eighty-two. And then a thousand again. Thank you. If you want to buy this computer, go online. So technically, you have to use another computer to get that computer or iPad. I love kid snippets. Um, their videos are hysterical. So they'll tape kids having a conversation, and then you can see they have adults who are doing the lip dubbing over it. So they're a lot of fun to share and they're great in PD. And like I said, there are some that are very appropriate for kids if it's something that you want to be able to share with them. So today we're going to use our iPhone computers to figure out how to move files. Or and let's go to the next slide. And I already mentioned about challenge-based PD. The way that it works is that I give you a list of tasks to make your through. You are going to try and do them step by step. I am here to help. You are also going to have to rely on each other. If you see somebody else in the Zoom that you know, don't be afraid to send them an instant message through the chat to ask them what they're doing. Um, I'll be here in the library trying to help the people that are in person. I'll try and stay near my computer to help people out there. But like I said, if you get stuck, I've put the answers into videos. So let me get to you to where you need to go. It's in our shared Google Doc. And I'm going to hit escape and bring myself to that Google Doc, which is this one. And I'm going to copy the link from here. Copy. And I'm going to vomit the link into the chat, which is way over here. Let me move that up. Control V for vomit. There we go. So if you haven't already jumped into the Google Doc, you can still do that. But you can also see it on my screen, your screen, the shared screen. I'm giving you a mission to try. You do not have to do all of these. This is not for me. This is not for me. It's not an assignment. You're not getting graded on it. I want to be able to give you a chance to kind of stretch your skills and figure out what you already know how to do and maybe what is challenging for you. So I'm not going to read to you because I know that you all know how to read. But basically, you'll go, it through, go through it step by step. You're going to be creating folders. You're going to be taking pictures and emailing them to yourselves. You're going to email them to me. You're going to be putting things into slides. You're going to be making links in slides. And if you get stuck, let me know. Put it in the chat is probably the easiest. If you want to ask me out loud, we can try that too. Oh, let me hit admit. Um, if you want to try that out loud, we can try that too. I probably won't give you any answers right away because right now it's only 1013 and I'm going to give you about probably 20 to 30 minutes to do it um, to be able to struggle and try. Try not to visit these. I'm going to the bottom here. These are the answers. I'm giving them to you right up front, but don't look at them until you know that you've struggled a bit. Struggling doesn't mean that you're crying on the floor. Struggling doesn't mean that you're mad at me. 
Struggling means that you've tried a couple of things and now you're starting to get frustrated and okay, now you can look at the answers. I hope that makes sense. The, the Where did you say you put that? Because I don't see it in the chat. Um, I, let me put it in again. Need to everyone to vomit. There we go. Oh, it went into the waiting room. That's why. Oh, look at that. I discovered that yesterday, but didn't realize that I have to be more careful about it. Everyone in meeting. That's why yesterday some, some stuff didn't make it in there. There. Do you see it now? Yay. So no one's in the waiting room, so it should have everybody in here. I have 60 people in here. That's crazy. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking for a minute. If you need me, I have the chat open. If you need me, I don't mind if you turn on your microphone or your camera and chat with me, um, but I am going to let you struggle for a little bit before I help with anything obvious on that task list. But if you need help getting to something on your task list, but the actual task list, I'm going to let you get started on. Whew. One, two, three, four. We have about four of us in the library. Did I share it where? You have the link is in the chat in Zoom. So, are you, so do you expect them to sort of What I did, because I did the assignment myself, I took a picture of the list with my phone and then I followed the directions on my phone while I did the activity on my computer. Yep, so if you're looking at the mission, I took a picture of it with my cell phone. And remember, I'm recording this, so I know a lot of people have meetings and stuff, and they might be coming and going. The, um, the Zoom meeting makes a noise when somebody leaves, which makes me cry every time. But I know that some of you have to leave for meetings. <laughs> it will be recorded. You can always come back to it, too. Susie, how do I minimize your screen share so I can get to my um, um, Google Drive? Excellent question. I use the escape key on my um, computer. Gotcha. Does that work? Thank you. Yep. All right, good. Susie, mine's asking me to sign into Google Docs. Why? Um, I, are you on your desktop computer or your Chromebook? I'm on a desktop. So it might not have you logged in yet. So just use your school stuff and log in. Are you on Chrome on your desktop? I am on Chrome. All right, that's good. This is, when I click the link, it takes me somewhere. Oh, it um, might. That, I, I think I know what it happens on some computers, especially PCs. They like to have you click on a link and then open up Edge. So it will often bring you to the wrong browser. Okay. So I, I was I, signed in already, but I can't get to the, the document. To that document. Let me send it to you in an email, Robin, and see if that makes a difference. So okay. I'll you'll know when you open your email in Chrome, it should bring you to that doc in Chrome. Okay. Let's try that. Ooh. Um, let's see, move this, compose. I can't see the send button because there's so many pictures in front of it. 
Well, let's move pictures out of the way. Oh, I'm, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, trying to manage all of the windows and the chat box and the pictures of people, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm glad that your matrix will not have a lot of students on. All right. So I'm going to have, for some of you who are struggling with creating a folder, I'm going to demonstrate that. If you want to keep working, you can. But if you're stuck, I don't want you to get stuck at this first spot and not budge. So I'm going to open a new tab. And then I'm going to go to Google Drive. I can either click on the waffle and then choose drive. I have to move the chat. Choose drive. Or I could have typed up here drive.google.com. I, I still don't get that, Susie. Did it come to you yet? No. The email hasn't arrived yet? No. All right. So give that a second because I'm sure it will make sure that I'm going to minimize that. Let's go to. Let's drive. That's email sent. It should make its way to you pretty quickly, Robin. That definitely went out. So if you're in drive, when you're here, you want to go to the new button where the plus is. And when you click on that, you can create a new folder. And then when you do, you can name it. I think I said to name it um, file management. So now you have in your Google Drive a folder named file management and it is empty if you open it. Did it come in yet, Robin? Yes, it did. Good. Thank you. Good, good. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to close my email because that distracts me. <laughs> and now I'm going to go back to where did I put all of you? <laughs> where, where are my people? There you are. How are you guys doing in here? Well, you can just look at the. Oh, you're working on sending it to yourself. Gotcha. You're on that first step. It took, it took a minute for mine to arrive as well. There you go. <laughs> Kim, how are you doing? Okay. Send a picture from anywhere, it's fine. Okay. as well. If you start in Drive and then upload instead of trying to send it to yourself, does it work? Like, do you, do you, right, yep. Do you want to show me? Okay, gotcha. All right, I also have to go back to, hang on, let me move all my faces. File management, there we go. If you want to get it ready, I'll come over and look. I have to keep moving the chat on my screen and there we go. Because I'm using to slide. So I have a question asking if you have the folder that you created and the folder has some pictures in it, how do you get them into a Google slide? So when you have your Google slide open, like let's say it's this one. Oh, actually, let me let somebody in. Admit. So Let's say it's this slide presentation. If I go up here to insert, 
and then I go to image, I can choose, oops, I can choose drive, and then I can navigate to that folder, and those pictures will be in there if I put the pictures into my folder first. So I have some questions coming in privately, which is fine, and then some that are seen by everybody, so I'm trying to make my way down through those. So if you've sent yourself a picture to your work email and you've received it, let me go, let me actually, I'm gonna do it on my phone now. I'm gonna go to photos and I will send myself a picture by email. And send. That'll take a second, but if I go to my email and I've sent it to myself, mail.google.com, it's going to open my mail, and here's my email from myself on my phone, and here's my picture. So, oops, I didn't mean to really click on it. I meant to just hover my mouse on it. So when I hover my mouse on it, I have two choices. I can download it to my device, whether that's a Chromebook or my MacBook or your PC or whatever it is that you're using, or I can use this little tiny button that will add it to my Google Drive. When I click that, it says organize, which is basically my chance to put it in a folder. So I'm gonna go down to my file management folder and I'm gonna put it right in there so there's no parade or fireworks. I just have to believe it happened. But if I went into my file management folder, you'll see that that picture has arrived in there. So once you've sent it to your email, you're then able to organize where it goes. Thank you for helping, Jen. Um, I have someone asking if it's not a picture, can you put a document into a Google slide? You can't really, like you can't put a document, like insert a document into a Google slide, but you can make a, your document a picture. And once you have it as a picture, you can put it in your Google slide. So for instance, if I'm in, this is my document here. If I wanted to make this a picture, I don't know if I can do it here, actually, let me see before I, show you a different way, download. No, I can't. But the way that I would normally do it is if I wanted to make this document a picture to then include it in a Google slide, I would have to take a screenshot. So for me, a screenshot on my computer is command shift four, and I get these four little like arrows that I can then drag across. And when I let go, it takes a then that picture can go into slides. On a Chromebook to do a slide, a screen capture, it's a different key combination. On a PC, you'd be using the snipping tool. There's lots of different ways to take screen caps. When I go to do them on other devices, I always have to look it up on Google because I always forget how to do it. Is there a better way to send a picture from Unsplash than copy and paste? I, that's a good question. I would download it into my device and then I would upload it into whatever it is, my email or into my folder. So if I were in Unsplash, unsplash.com, one of my favorite sites, not really kid friendly, but it's very teacher friendly because all of these pictures you can use. You don't have to give credit to anybody. They're free to use. There's 8 million different topics. Um, so if I find a picture that I like, I can click it and then I can download it. It will go right into my computer where all of my downloads go. And now I can put it wherever I want it. Guys are asking some great questions. Let me put it back to the list because I know a few people need that. Ooh. Yes. You don't have internet? Error in our internet. Oh, that's awesome. 
try anything. You can go to Google Images. It, Unsplash is not the necessity. It's just grab a picture from somewhere. All right, I'll be right there. Let me check these two questions. Any easy way to make a worksheet into an editable Google document? If I could do that, I wouldn't be working here. I'd be making lots of money somewhere. I wish that you could. I am going to go over a way that you can kind of do it in Google Slides when I teach the Google Slides for instruction instruction class. And I'm definitely going to make a tutorial on, I think I might have already actually. I've been, I've been making tutorials. So it's not easy to do that. Um, usually you have to have some type of paid version of um, the, the PDF program to be able to do that. Um, on the new PCs, is there a way to Gmail your default email? Oh, that's a great question. That's a Holly question to ask about making Gmail your default email. I know it wants to open Outlook. I don't use the PC at all, and I haven't even touched the new PCs. So that's a good Holly question. Um, email. I, so those of you here at KCC, I'm hearing that there's some internet woes. And we import questions and answers into Google Forms to simplify the process, avoid having to type everything in ourselves. Well, oh, um, I wish. I don't, if there is a way, I don't know about it, but I'm more than willing to look for that. I am saving this chat like I'm saving all of them. So I'll go back through them and glean some of the questions that you guys have that I don't have answers to, which will probably be a lot of them. And I'll see if there are other ways to do that. I'm going to guess no, that you cannot just like copy and paste something from, say, a Google Doc into forms and have it turn into questions. If you discover how to do it, then you'll probably make a lot more money too. Or trying not to work overly hard if we don't have to. I get it. All right, I'm going to walk away from the screen to help a student. I'll be right back.
That's okay. All right, let me check your questions. Show how to do a Google slide presentation. Yeah, and on a men splash, how do I email the pic to you? I've downloaded the picture on the site. Um, Okay, so let me do the Unsplash question first, Alice. So when you grabbed that picture on Unsplash and downloaded it, now if you go to email and you create a new email to me, you can then go down and attach it. You can either use the little paper clip or you can use the little um, insert photo icon, either one. And then I'm going to go to upload. And then I'm going to find my picture, which was the Unsplash one. It went into my downloads, I believe. It was this one from Unsplash. And then when you hit open, it will put the picture into the email. And then send it off. Um, looking at more questions. So to do a Google slide presentation, there's going to be two Two classes plus the Bitmoji class will really go into Google Slides, but if you're going to start a new one, you open a new tab and you go to slides.new. Oops, without the E and EW. And then when you hit enter, it will open a new blank slideshow that's ready to go. If you need to add more slides, you would use the plus over here and it will add a new slide, or the little drop down will show you other designs that that slide could be. So you can add those in there. I will go over how to use Google Slides, which I think is probably one of the most useful tools that you'll be able to use during this thing. Um, so I'll go into it more in depth. Today, all you have to do is just go and insert an image. And then also one of the, well, I keep clicking things with my hand and the back button. There we go. Um, You'll have to insert an image, and I believe one of the last steps is creating a hyperlink. If you don't get to that, don't panic. So as a teacher right now, how I'm struggling is how quiet it is. It, it's like it's really quiet here in the library because everybody's working. And it's dead quiet on my computer where there's like 30 people. So that's something that's very unique and different. Just having a meta moment right now. So I'm having someone ask me um, whether or not I recognize Kami, K-A-M-I, which is a tool that helps change things into PDFs. I have used Kami. I've never paid for it. I've only used the free version. Um, so it's, it's definitely worth checking out. It can be helpful to make um, PDFs more useful. I haven't used it in a long time, so I'd have to look into it again to, to refresh my memory, but um, it's something that I, I have definitely used before. And let's see, someone's asking if you have access to that checklist for later since my email is responding. Yes, you can. Um, how can I do that? Well, right now, let me go back to it. Sorry, I keep going off of it. And I know some of you are using my screen to keep track of where you are. I'm going to copy it, the link to it, and then I'm going to email it to you so that you have it when your email is behaving itself. And then back to file management. Whew. And I don't know where all of you are. I don't want to be scrolling down too far. So it's 1039. I'm going to give you about another five minutes. Of course, you don't have to be done. And I'm not going to know if you're done or not. Um, this is for you. If this were an environment with my students, I would be giving them more time. I would be either leaving this on so that you could ask me questions. I could monitor 
the chat. I could shut the video off if I wanted to and just have um, just have the chat on. We're going to give you about five minutes and then we're going to do some Q&A if you want to ask questions. And then the goal is to end by 10 minutes of the hour so that you have time to transition or take a break before, before we go to Google Classroom. I'm going to make a loop around the classroom for those of you online. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I just did a loop. All right, it's 10.43. So I think what I'm gonna do is put you out of your misery so you can stop challenging yourself. Um, we'll do some Q&A. I did write in the, um, in the slides if anyone is willing to try and kind of capture any of the Q's and A's and type them into the doc, that would be hugely helpful so that I can concentrate on the Q's and A's. So if anyone wants to jump in and do that, we'll see how it goes. I'll just throw it out there this time. Maybe next time I'll ask someone specifically, but I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try new things every time I'm doing these classes as I grow more comfortable. All right, so if you have questions or, or anything, 
that's what we'll do for the next six minutes until I let you go. Well, you can go anytime, but. And you can either do it out loud or in the chat, whatever you want. Uh, Susie, the fluid use of making hyperlinks and inserting you, was that going to be part of this and did we kind of miss that up? It is. It's so it, right here. I made it toward yeah. the, the challenge how to create a hyperlink. When you get ready to watch how to do it, like if you try following that paragraph and it's like, I still can't do it that way, this third um, YouTube link will show you how to do it. Okay. It'll do what that paragraph says. And it's me doing it, so it's not like a video. Thank you. You're welcome. I already say how quiet it is. It's really quiet. No, it's just to have 40, there's 46 people in the Zoom, although some of them are you guys. I can see, <laughs> see you in person too. You're all working so hard. I'm gonna write down the question you have, Lucinda, and just put it in the in the doc as I try to keep track of Q's and A's. Um, whoops, I'm not in the right spot. Whoops, did I just open something? Yeah, I did. Open numbers. Didn't mean to do that. File. I will tell you that when you or if you end up watching any of those YouTube videos, the reason there's three is just because I'm in a busy place. So there's no pause button on the recording tool that I was using. But um, I move fast in them. You probably think I move fast anyway. But with a video, A, I move fast because it's boring if you go slow. And if I'm going too fast, I know you can hit pause or rewind and listen again. So you'll find that a lot of the videos that I do, they do, they go fast but take that time to go back and watch it again, even if you just rewind a few frames to be able to see something that you missed. That way it doesn't take forever and ever to get through a lesson. All right, nobody else has questions? The last thing, um, the hyperlink. The last one is just to delete the folder so I don't muck up your Google Drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can delete anything that you made. Yep. Yep. All right. So let's see, it's 1048. Give me, um, I, actually, let's try and use the tools in um, Zoom that I haven't used before. So the, they have like the thumbs up, the thumbs down, the applause, they have the yeses and nos. Let's try using the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Oh, I can't believe I'm asking this. 
um, how you feel about challenge-based PD, me giving you very little instruction, a list of things to try, and then support along the way, and then an answer key at the end if you got really stuck. So if you don't mind throwing into, you go down to your tools, I believe you have to click on participants, and then you should see the yes, the no, the go slower, the go faster, and then if you click on more, you should see the thumbs up or the thumbs down. So you're, be gentle with me. Are they coming in? Oh, they're coming in. Look at that. So as a teacher, I can see the numbers. So I can see that there's three thumbs up. I could probably scan. The, yep, I can scan the list and see. Challenge-based PD is challenging, but it also frees you up to help students as they're along the way. The one thing that I didn't do while you're putting in your thumbs up or down, it's okay if it's thumbs down, I won't chase you. Um, the one thing that I normally do that I didn't this time is I number the steps because I would always have a student get stuck. I would do this with third graders. This isn't something that I just did with adults. I'd want to know what step they were on because if they say they don't get it or I don't understand or I don't know where to start, um, I'd be, well, what step are you on? And that usually helped us to narrow down where they were stuck, what they didn't get, what they didn't understand. So that's a pretty cool little tool. I, if you're having trouble finding it, you're welcome to turn on your mic and I can walk you through it. But it is 10.50 and like I said, I'd like to stop at 10 minutes of the hour because at some point the next people are coming in and or some of you are staying, which you're welcome to. I'm gonna be doing Google Classroom and I'm gonna put it right out there. You guys are the expert on Google Classroom. Um, there are so many of you that use it every single day. I've put together some resources that were not made by me um, I'm just going to be giving you a chance to go through them, to ask questions if you have them. I use it, but not to the extent that all of you do. So what I will probably be doing is asking for some Google Classroom experts who will be willing to help others if that, or that need arises. Also, I know those of you at KCC also have Seesaw. So if that's something that you're going to be using instead, then I would advise not trying to learn too much about Google Classroom. You know, our brains are only so big right now. Um, try Susie? not to. Okay. Yes. Susie? Yep. Um, could you, there's a couple people who have put messages in the chat about, um, we only see the thumbs up and the clapping. Oh, Where really? do I get the... No thumbs down? I took the thumbs down so that you couldn't pick it. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Where do you see the um, slow down or I, you said other choices? Yeah, I wonder if it's just for me as a teacher. As I see yes and I see no and then I see go slower and I see go faster, which I really we don't. We don't see any of those. We just see the clapping and the thumbs up. So we need those choices. Yeah, you so do. If you, go, if you go to participants down at the bottom, Click on participants and it opens up over there on the right hand side where the chat is. Up above it'll say participants and it shows the 40 people. And right below, between the, the list of participants and the Zoom group chat, there's a horizontal bar that says raise hand, yes, no, go slower, go faster, and more. So can, no. so can you? I don't have it. Yeah, I do see that now, Colleen. So can we add those personally to our um, uh, reactions or do we have to go this way into it? Oh, I don't know. I believe that's a, however you're finding it on your screen is the way that you go in. And I think on different devices, it looks different. If you're on a Chromebook or a PC or a Mac oh. or a tablet. So yeah. it's finding where they put it on that particular platform and then interacting with it. But it's not something yes. that, can, that you can like customize. Good question though. Little coffee cup is cute. Yep, that says like you're gonna, you need a break or you're away. Um, Susie, I'm looking back at the, um, cause uh, I, I've actually just been kind of listening because um, I looked through the mission and saw, oh, I know how to do all of this already. Oh, never mind, I just found it. Um, the only thing that I didn't know was unsplash.com, and I just wanted to make a note for myself about that. Never mind. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. 
I'll see okay. you at 11. I'll All see right. you at 11. Bye. Choices. Are you still doing a tech class? I am. I can't I the, um, the matrix and see what it is. I'm going to stop recording before I forget to do that. Let me start my screen share too. Stop share. And then, um, oops, hang on. I'm going to close that. It almost just put you in breakout rooms. Let's just stop the recording. And